Imagine a world where you don't have to manually test your code or deploy your application and or even monitor your projects. This is exactly where GitHub Action comes in. So in this video, we are going to cover about GitHub Action, what it is, what are its features and also we are going to build the YML file which is going to automate your workflow. So guys, we want to learn about it. Watch this video till that. Just a quick info guys, Simply Learn has got DevOps Engineer Master Program. You can become DevOps expert with hands-on project with IBM, AWS and Azure's official content. This DevOps Engineer Certification course is developed in collaboration with IBM which is going to help you refine your skills. And in this course, you are going to learn about Docker, Kubernetes, Ansible, Terraform, Prometheus, Jenkins and also Microsoft Azure DevOps methodologies. So hurry up now and join the course. The course link is mentioned in the description box. So what exactly is GitHub Actions? GitHub Action is a powerful automation tool built directly into GitHub. It allows developers to automate their workflows such as testing, building and deploying code by defining them in YML configuration files with their repositories. Added course, GitHub Actions integrates seamlessly with your repository. So here you have automation which starts with simple triggers like code pushes, pull requests or even scheduled tasks. It also runs on various environments. You can execute workflows on virtual machines, containers, or even self-hosted runners. It provides pre-built and reusable actions, where you can have access to thousands of ready-made actions from GitHub Marketplace to streamline your workflows. Now, you'll be wondering why GitHub Actions is so important for CI-CD and workflow automation. The first reason which I can think of is streamlined continuous integration and continuous deployment. GitHub Actions simplifies the CI-CD pipeline by allowing developers to define every step from testing to deployment and directly into the code repository. This eliminates the needs for external tools like Jenkins, saving time and reducing complexity. The next one we have is flexibility and customization. With GitHub Actions, you can create workflows tailored to your project's specific needs, whether it's compiling a program, running tests, deploying to the cloud, or notifying your team on Slack. Then you have improved collaboration. So by automating repetitive tasks, team can focus on building and collaborating on features instead of manual operations like reviewing every code changes or performing builds. The next one is it's cost effective. For open source projects, GitHub provides free minutes for workflows, paid plans, offer affordable scalability for private repository. So GitHub Action provides automations which removes bottlenecks from software development lifecycle leading to faster releases and higher quality products. Now, let us discuss a scenario where we would be using GitHub Actions. For example, we have automated code testing. So every time a developer pushes code or creates a pull request, GitHub Actions can automatically run tests to ensure that the changes don't break the existing functionality. For example, a JavaScript project where unit tests run on multiple versions of Node.js. The next one that we have all over here, building and deploying application. You can build your application and deploy it to platforms like AWS, Azure, or Heroku directly from GitHub Actions. Example, you can automatically deploy a React app to production server after merging to the main branch. Then you have the code quality checks. GitHub Actions can enforce code quality standards by running linters, formatters, or even security checks. For example, ensuring all Python code adheres to PEP 8 guidelines using pre-built actions. Then you have scheduled tasks. You can run scripts at scheduled intervals such as nightly builds, weekly backups, or data analytics tasks. For example, generating a daily report on project metrics or performance. Then you have the collaborative workflows where you notify your team via Slack or email when workflows complete or when specific conditions are met. So sending an alert when a workflow detects a failing test in the staging environment. With GitHub Actions, automation isn't just a tool. It actually empowers developers to work smarter, innovate faster, and ship a better software. So that's why GitHub Action is one of the best tools when you think of CI CD actions. So now, so let us create this file called test.yml. And here we are going to discuss some of the basic things. So our core concepts are workflows,
Now let us try to understand some of the core concepts. So when you are trying to automate your continuous integration or continuous deployment, then what is happening? You are building a YML file. So while building YML file, these are the certain concepts that you should be aware of. So you'll be wondering what a workflow is. So a workflow is an overarching definition of an automated process. Basically, it tells you about the automation. It specifies what should happen, when it should happen, and how it should happen. Generally, workflows are written in YML files, and it is located in .github slash workflows directory of the repository. So each workflow is triggered by specific events, such as code push, pull request, or a schedule time. Now, the next one that we have all over here is job. So job is a unit of work within the workflow. Each workflow can have multiple jobs and these jobs can run sequentially or in parallel depending on dependencies. A job runs in a fresh instance of a virtual environment, which is basically a runner, and it includes one or more steps. Now, if you'll be wondering what steps are, so steps are basically the individual tasks that are executed sequentially within a job. Steps include executing shell commands like npm run install, or you can use pre-built actions, for example, action slash checkout v3. Now, if I talk about what are actions, so actions is a reusable piece of code that performs a specific task. GitHub provides a library of pre-built actions in the GitHub marketplace, such as action slash checkout to clone the repository. Action slash setup node, suppose you are setting up a Node.js environment. You can also create custom actions in JavaScript or Docker. So example of pre-built actions is that it uses action slash checkout. It uses action slash setup node within the node version. Now, if I talk about runners, so runners is an environment where workflows are executed. It could be a GitHub hosted runner where a pre-configured virtual machines are provided by GitHub or a self-hosted runner where custom machines are set up by the users to run the workflow. For example, it is written, runs on Ubuntu latest. Now, let's have a brief introduction to the YML syntax. So you can see all over here that we have the sample YML file, which is defining our workflow. And here we are basically automating our deployment process. So you will be wondering what YML is. You can consider something like this. It is another uh, kind of a markup language which uses indentation to represent the nested structures. So the key components are like key value pairs. You can see these are the keys and these are the specific values of that, which defines properties such as runs on. Okay, so you can see latest is there. So this is a key value pair. Then you have a list such as it could be branches slash main dev. Okay, and you have the indentation all over here. Okay, this is following a specific indentation, which means it always uses spaces, not tabs. So here you could see the structure of the YML file. Now, let us try to build our YML file. So here we have the following task. So we are building this YML file. Now, this YML file includes the following task. First of all, you have to trigger on a push or pull request to the main branch. Okay, you have to check out the code from the repository. You have to set up the Node.js environment. You have to install dependencies, run a build command, and optionally archive the build artifacts. So we'll start with triggering the workflow on the push or pull request events. So how do you do it? With the help of on statement. So you put the on keyword, then you put push, and here you have put branches, in which you have the main, and you are doing the pull request from the branches, which is also the main. So now you could see all over here that the on section specifies that this workflow runs whenever the code is pushed or pulled to the request when it is created for the main branch. So that's why we have used the on keyword and here you could see push and pull requests are there. The next one we could find all over here that we are defining the jobs. So the build job is defined to run on the Ubuntu latest server. Okay, now we could find the steps all over here. So here the steps include first the checkout code, which uses the action slash checkout v3. Okay. So you have the name and what it uses. And the step two, setting up the Node.js environment. So we have the key value pair as name. Okay. And it uses action slash setup node v3 with node version 16. Okay. So this is basically setting up our environment. Then we are installing the dependencies. So name install dependencies. And I'm saying run npm install. In the step four, we are running the build process. We have the name run build. 
and here we are saying npm run build and the step 5 we are building the saved artifacts which can be optional where i'm uploading the build artifacts it uses action slash upload artifacts v3 with the name build artifacts and path is start slash destination so this is a sample version of a yml file which is basically going to automate your process so we have achieved these five tasks basically triggering on a push or pull request checking out the code from the repository setting up the node.js environment installing dependencies and running a build command and also optionally archiving the build artifacts so this is how you automate your process with the help of github actions thank you guys for watching this video i hope so you will have got a brief idea regarding how to automate your process with the help of yml5 okay using github action thank you for watching this video staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations, and delivered by industry experts. Choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.